Hello, beautiful soul. Did you miss me? Did you even notice that I didn't upload nothing last week? If you missed me, well, the thing is mutual. I missed you too. If you didn't miss me, then I'm sorry. That is just one way kind of relationship. But it doesn't matter because I'm back. Whether you like it or you don't like it. If you don't like it, you wouldn't be here. Ah. So let's get back to the point. Mm, my name is Irina. If you're new to my channel, I'm here to simplify your life. Life, hopefully giving you insights uh, about life. From my perspective, um, things that I've been through, things that I overcome. And now I want to share it with you in order to help you. And today I would like to talk more about relationships, um, particularly about, uh, it doesn't matter whether you are single or in a relationship or a marriage, I just want to make you think more about uh, base, foundation of a relationship and why did you or why do you or why will you start a relationship. So let's start. And I know that many will say, well, is it really necessary to speak about it? Because why would I start a relationship if not because of love? Because you think, you I say you think, because people think they love someone when the truth is actually they don't. They think they love someone, but they don't. How come is that? Well, because as always, everything's starts with ourselves and uh, self-love if we don't know how to love ourselves properly because this thing also people confuse very much if you don't know how to love yourself properly you will never be able to love someone properly and you will never be able to receive the love that you give because we teach others how to love us but what we allow and what we stop so you should uh, learn how to love yourself properly in order to know your needs not needs from someone but yours needs okay and this is the key word actually need people confuse this as well but i will try to simplify it for you why because it is so important not to start a relationship out of needing someone to make you complete to make you happy to make you this or that that is so wrong uh, you don't need anything or anyone for these things this is your responsibility once you learn and once like i said you start to love yourself properly you will understand that your responsibility is to um, make yourself happy to make yourself fulfilled you are complete you don't need anyone or anything to complete you ju you just need to be aware of that everything you look for is already within you on the other hand there are other needs uh, that well i think more or less they would be the same for all of us but let's say that they are different and you will uh, understand what your needs in love are once you start loving yourself properly you will understand actually what do you want those are your needs what do you want what do you give okay first of all in order to receive what uh, kind of relationship do you want uh, how you think that one relationship should look like once you understand those needs you will be able to find your partner who is matching your needs who will meet your needs and who will give you the same as you give more or less of course once you meet someone uh, who match your needs you will be able to um, start a proper relationship that is based on true values uh, on first of all love not on needs because love doesn't know needs love is simply to give so that's why you must 
know how to love yourself in the first place. Once you learn how to be alone and happy, you will know that you are ready for a relationship. Well, maybe there are people who learn these things already uh, when they start a relationship. Unfortunately, many start relationship out of needing someone to make them complete. Why? Because we've been told that way. We've been told that we always need someone, you know, find someone to make you complete. Um, I found my happiness in you. Happiness is not something that you look outside of you. Happiness is something that you look within. Many start relationship out of fear and they are not even aware of that. But usually fears are like uh, not to be alone or they feel lonely. So they look someone for not being lonely. Um, they, they are not aware that uh, that way they create nothing but dependence and they are creating not, nothing but um, they are making another person responsible for something they are responsible for which is so not fair for another person because the same way you don't want to feel that burden uh, of someone that is needing you to make them feel happy when two people are uh, learn how to be alone and happy when they come together they will just share happiness and nothing else on the other hand if you start a relationship out of fear if you uh, start to build a re relationship that is not based on love but rather on need uh, you will creating uh, nothing but uh, a toxic i don't like to use the word but it is so common in nowadays in, uh, you will create nothing but toxic environment for you and for your partner and you will constantly need another person to make you feel happy to make you, I don't know and once that um, you don't receive that uh, need that is for you vital to feel happy you will start blaming them for not feeling happy and that is, you can you understand how wrong is that? I think you do like I said, we have uh, so many relationships and marriages today that uh, are actually based on need, that they didn't start uh, because love uh, and relationship are built. But if they are not built on true foundation, on really wanting to be with someone and really wanting to uh, commit and to create something that makes no sense. And if you are already in a relationship or a marriage that, uh, you, and you are aware of all of this, then don't be afraid to sit down and to talk with your partner. You know, uh, I know as well that there are many people out there who are, uh, who are staying unhappy and relationship and marriages, again, out of fear. And you shouldn't be afraid of expressing how you feel. You can't lose anything. Um, many things they will lose. I don't know what, but the truth is that you both deserve love and you shouldn't be living in a fear uh, how other person will react or what other people will say or what to do now and how to make, how to start all over again. Um, starting all over again won't be easy, but is there anything more difficult than starting? staying somewhere or with someone uh, you don't love or where you don't feel loved i think that there is nothing more difficult than that and painful for you so you shouldn't you should face all of that you know that there is nothing wrong with feeling that way and you shouldn't feel guilty about how you feel that is again so wrong simply you feel that way and you want to express how you feel and find a solution always look for solution not do not focus on a problem, rather look always how to find your way out of that. Of course, without hurting other person.
And in case that uh, you want to start a relationship and you like someone, make sure to start a relationship that is based uh, on true values and a foundation that is love. You know, don't start a relationship because you feel lonely or because your mother or father tell you that your time is passing by and that you must settle down and you must do this and that or what society puts pressure on us that you should be in a relationship, you should get married, you should have kids. Don't follow that, please. Rather, use your use your heart, not your head, uh, to listen what is good for you. Spend time alone and learn how to be happy and then find someone who is matching your needs in love. That is crucial thing. Just don't start a relationship out of any kind of fear. It is always to be better alone and happy than unhappy in a relation so please just take your time to think about this not superficially and don't put pressure on yourself on yourself that you need to do something now and like i said uh, don't ever feel guilty about how you feel because many of these um habits beliefs we inherit from our parents and how they lived and they inherit from their parents or from society and we are program programmed from day one so don't feel guilty about how you feel there is no need for that just think more about it and uh, you deserve love you deserve to give love and to receive the love you give so think about that never start a relationship out of fear and make sure that you truly love it love you can't love on the, well maybe you can on the first sight you simply know that but make sure that you um like someone truly and you want simply to commit uh, to that person to relationship because once you start a relationship you're not only responsible for your life but also for that relationship and your relationship should feel easy don't confuse love with a life in this case, please, life can be hard very much, but love shouldn't feel hard. Love feels easy. If your relationship becomes um, difficult or exhausting, then it's a sign that you should sit down and think about it. You should always check up on your partner how they feel and also they should check up on you, how you feel. You should always ask yourself, are you happy? Uh, is this love and so many other questions uh, the importance of right, right questions is immense the same way that uh, the importance of love is immense because all we need is love I know that it sounds pretty much cheesy but if you think you know in life that is so much uh, hard that can be very difficult love is there to heal us to help us go through life so uh, choosing your partner is one of the biggest decisions that you will ever make and that's it mm, till my next video i would like to make you think more about this and please do let me know if this was helpful for you love you